is Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy scarf to coordinate with the Rachel Beanie. The Rachel Beanie uh, is another free crochet pattern that you can find on my blog and here on my YouTube channel uh, for a beautiful colored textured hat featuring the seed stitch. So this scarf uh, features the same stitch which you can see here. It's a fairly wide scarf and then it features this uh, beautiful fringe here done on the end. So I'm going to show you how to make this scarf. The direct link for the written crochet pattern can be found in the notes for this video along with the link for the hat pattern. While you're here please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and, uh, and uh, I like to update it weekly with crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. For this scarf I have used the Lion Brand Landscapes yarn which uh, comes in a variety of colors. It's an acrylic yarn and it's a worsted weight so you can substitute your yarn for any worsted weight yarn of your choosing. I used approximately four balls of the Landscapes yarn which includes my tassel fringe here on the end of my scarf. Each ball is about 150 yards so you're going to need uh, four of those balls. You're also going to need a six millimeter crochet hook and again copies of the written pattern which can be found on my blog. So grab your hook and some yarn and let's get started. Okay so for our scarf pattern today it is worked in rows. So we are going to start by making our slip knot and then working a foundation chain of 31 chains. There's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 31. Then for your first row, you're going to start by counting in two chains from your hook, one, two, and into that second chain you're going to work a single crochet stitch. We're going to start our seed stitch pattern here right off the bat. So you're going to work a single crochet in that first chain. In the next chain you're going to work a double crochet stitch. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Single crochet in the next stitch, followed by a double crochet. Repeat that all the way across and you're going to have a total of 30 stitches. You're going to finish the row with a double crochet stitch. So in my final chain here I am working my double crochet stitch. I'm then going to chain one and turn my work. I'm now going to simply repeat that row um, for as long as I would like my scarf to be. So I'm going to repeat that pattern of single crochet in that first stitch, followed by a double crochet in the next, single crochet and double crochet. Continue that all the way across, chain one and turn your work and then repeat. So as I said you're going to repeat this seed stitch pattern for the length of your scarf. My scarf measured 66 inches so it's fairly long, uh, 66 inches by 9 inches and then I added my fringe to that. So continue your scarf for your length. Meet me back here and I'll just show you quickly how I made the fringe on my scarf. Okay, so now I've now worked uh, 66 inches in that seed stitch pattern. So you can see it here. Uh, I've worked the length of my scarf and I've now come down to the ends where I want to add this beautiful fringe. You can make your fringe as long as you would like, um, as thick as you would like. It's really up to you. What I did for mine was I took 
uh, strands of yarn. They're, they are about 12 inches long and I held four together. I then took my crochet hook and I evenly spaced, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 uh, sort of tassels on the end of my scarf. Again, you can do as many as you would like. Um, and then I took my yarn and even, fairly evenly spacing them through, I simply stuck my crochet hook through, picked up those four strands of yarn and brought it through just like so. I then uh, pulled it so that they were folded in half, just like this, fairly even. And then I simply worked a knot. That's all I did. There are many, many ways of working a fringe on your pattern. I find this one to be fairly secure. Um, it's going to hold up when I wash it or when I'm outside, it's not going to come apart at all. So once again, I just simply inserted my crochet hook, took four strands of yarn, they're about 12 inches long, pulled them through, made it even, just like so, and then tied it in a simple knot. and pulled it up. And that's all I did. So thank you so much for joining me on this very quick tutorial on how to make a beautiful seed stitch scarf to coordinate with your Rachel beanie. Uh, go ahead and check that pattern out and uh, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.